is hoping for a fresh start this year after dealing with a BP oil spill and freshwater diversions meant to keep oil out. But a mystery is unfolding at one of the state's most productive areas for oysters, and the news is not good. Maya Rodriguez has the story. In the water stretching from the Mr. Go down to the mouth of the river, oysters are having a tough time. It's not a good sign. The sign is no sign. A lack of oyster spat in what is known as coastal area number two. Scientists are baffled as they told this meeting today of the Louisiana Oyster Task Force. That's really uh, alarming when we see that the, the, the large areas, some of the, the areas that are the most, uh, are really the heart of the predominant oyster sea ground, we're not seeing the young spat this year. The spat is the first critical step needed for oysters to rebound. It's been tough for oyster fishermen and their crop this year as they dealt with the BP oil spill and then the freshwater diversions opened by the state to try and keep the oil out. How are things going so far? Horrible. Horrible. Byron Enclave says many of the oyster fishermen on the eastern bank of Plaquemines Parish are facing hard times. I'm starting to worry about the mental stress that's building now. Every time we wait and miss a cycle, it adds another year onto our recovery. That's because it takes about three years for oysters to mature. And in coastal area number two, there's an additional issue. These areas not, are not only used for direct market, but they're used as seed areas where uh, oyster farmers take this seed and plant it on their uh, own oyster farms for further cultivation. The lack of spat is now a real worry, and it's not clear whether freshwater diversions from Carnarvon and other areas have anything to do with it. That's because areas that are even further away from the coast are also seeing the same spat problem. Well, the outer reefs further out, where the salinity would be considered uh, considerably higher, should have had some spat signals. But uh, we don't see it anywhere. That, that was that was really tough. But normally, after a fresh water event, the crop rebounds. Even you know, you may even have bumper crops. That's traditionally been the, 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 the general sequence of events. We haven't seen that, and, and we don't. No, nobody really knows why. But oysters in other areas appear to be doing much better, including around the northern coastal areas of St. Bernard. The Oyster Task Force is hoping biologists with wildlife and fisheries will be able to figure out what's going on with the spat in coastal zone 2 and Dennis hopefully fix that problem. Absolutely. Thanks, Maya.